Well, hello there, guys. Now we're about to start our new experiment. We have ourselves one ton of starch here. Yes, this is the real starch from which non-Newtonian fluid is made. And the starch we'll use to conduct today's experiment. What do you think? What are we going to do today? Come on, come on. A pool full of non-Newtonian fluid? No. Are we gonna cover ourselves in stretch? Nope. Then so the starts in some water? Yes. Are we gonna throw it in the air and uh well, yeah, let's reshoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Uh culinary battle. No, today we will try to make a huge pool and then try to get out of it. Our plan of action. Make the pool, pour some water into it, and fill it with the starch. Then stir it all thoroughly. And as a result, we'll be left with a non-Newtonian fluid. And they say fidget spinners are useless. No, they're not if you use a little brain power. The main concept behind the experiment has to do with the pool that we have to get inside and out of. And in case you didn't know, if you apply force to a non-Newtonian fluid, then it becomes as hard as concrete. Well, but if you submerge your hand into it slowly, then it'll go down. At the same time, if we then try to pull our hand out of the bucket, then it will stay stuck to your hand right here. And it will break at a certain moment. Stop, no, no. For Pete's sake, duck stay, please. But I gather you all found out this back in 2015 when videos about non-Newtonian videos were still relevant. Regardless, I've decided to conduct this experiment because since then I've wanted to make a non-Newtonian fluid pool and try to get out. What does this feel like? And what is it like to jump from really high up into a non-Newtonian fluid? It's soft, but at the same time, it's like concrete. Now it's time to work. We saw some things, break them off, carry some plywood from one place to another. Basically, in a word, we've begun construction. Okay, that was three words. Well guys, basically the pool is ready. Last time you complained that it wasn't glass, and this time I decided to make it so that it was with some glass. But even though there is one wall, it is still glass. And theoretically, it's almost impossible to make it completely glass, at least for us. And it'll be expensive, so this one we'll have to do. Actually, we put the polyethylene in next and start making non-Newtonian fluid. We turn on the water and slowly pour in the starch, mixing it all thoroughly. Looking at the starch dust, it may seem that our work has literally boiled over. Well, so that you don't have to watch the same shots of us filling the pool for a long time, we've decided to entertain you a little bit. Before we started filling the pool, we decided to build a four meter towel and put a small pool next to it, which we also filled with non-Newtonian fluid. And we'll be throwing various objects into the pool. For example, a watermelon. From my viewpoint, it looks like this. And from Alex's eyes, it looks like this. Now, are you ready to throw? Yeah. Well then, let's do it. For what happened to the rest of the objects, might I interest you in watching this little montage. Well, you guys, in principle, we have already thrown everything possible into the pool, so I decided to try jumping into the fluid myself. As for me, it seems like when I jump off, since the non-Newtonian fluid is not the densest I've ever seen, it will most likely cave under all of the force I'll be creating during the fall from up here. Hi, how scary. <laughs> When you land, you feel some slight resistance, after which you very, very slowly begin to sink, and then there are some slightly pleasant sensations. I almost didn't even feel it when I finally landed. 
It's very soft, Alex, so I think you can easily jump off from there as well. Whee! Before Alex makes his jump, the other guys have also decided to jump. And let me tell you, not everyone did it successfully. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at how the guys jump, I wanted to jump even more. But to begin with, I didn't choose the highest altitude in order to prepare for a new high altitude, so to speak. What are your feelings after the first jump? Well, it was slippery, a little wet, to be frank, but really, I mean, in principle, it's just like landing on some kind of soft rubber made specifically for this. I think it will be a little bit scarier from higher up, but not by much. Let's test it out. Yeah. <laughs> just a little bit scarier. A little bit. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. <laughs> cool. It's pretty soft. Nothing like asphalt. Oh, wow. Damn, it really feels interesting when you jump, fly, and, and look at it thinking it's liquid. You think you'll land like you do in water, but you know there's something solid there. You land, but you're thinking like it should be painful like on asphalt, and then no, it's fine. You bounce off and you stand up like it didn't even jump. It was all good and fun until we heard a crack and realized that the pool mount couldn't withstand this at all. If we don't do something now, that is, insert this bar, then we're going to be left with Khan's pool. Therefore, we insert the bar. Right now, please do your best, right here in the middle. All right, the glass. We have an emergency situation. The pool is starting to fall apart, so we don't have time to really stop right now. We got to do something, so let's hurry up, you guys. And I'll just put myself in there now and try to get out of there in the same state. As you can see, this is a real non-Newtonian fluid. It is quite solid, so I think it will be very difficult to get out of it. If you pull your hand up abruptly, it hurts a lot and it doesn't pull out. And if it's done smoothly, then everything's okay for the most part. Actually, let's start the dive. Oh, I really don't want to do this. Oh, 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 oh it's so cold. Oh. I just wanted to tell you a live hack that I know about, but that I won't be using. So when you completely relax, something like this happens. I just float up because the density of a non-Newtonian fluid is much higher than the density of my body. But nevertheless, if I don't relax completely at all, it's impossible to get out of it. So let's dive in here. Ooh. It's a very funny situation, you guys. When in a non-Newtonian fluid, you start flailing your arms and legs. If you wriggle your fingers, then they start to crunch. And also, when you start jerking your legs around, the hairs start coming off. But it hurts a lot, you know? It's a life hack for girls. <laughs> <laughs> so, objectively speaking, how I wanted to get out before I started making this video, I cannot. I thought I would be able to lift one leg smoothly at first along a non-Newtonian fluid because it begins to turn solid only when some strong force is applied to it. And with the second leg, I wanted to apply this very same force so that it would be like a support because while one leg is trying to get out of it, the other one is just sinking. Okay, let's hold on to the sides. If you jerk abruptly, it just doesn't work. <laughs> but if you do it in once with motion, then it works. Let's try again pulling it out quickly. Maybe it'll work. <sighs> no, 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 no. But I start to jerk here. At the at the upper parts, since there is more or less loose liquid here, it just comes out. But the bottom section just gets stuck in place. <laughs> this is something you have to try for yourself because it's really hard to get the full experience. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just don't have enough strength left. <sighs> Now I'm gonna try to not jerk sharply 
You know, after all, I probably won't be able to get out like this. Or at least resting with two hands uh, on different sides. Oh, that's really impossible. It's really, really hard. You can get out only by leaning on one side, and at the same time, do it as smoothly as possible. If I start lifting my legs, I just can't do it. I just relax them, and that's it. Oh, I just can't do this anymore. Very, very smoothly. I pull out my leg. <laughs> and back. <laughs> just look at how much I'm pulling up with me. <laughs> and all this that's stuck to my leg pulls me down and accordingly creates additional weight for me. I can safely say, you guys, that it is impossible to get out of a non-Newtonian liquid without using any life hacks. Well, are you ready, Alex? All right, I'm coming down. Except for why? Step aside! One, two, three. Oh no. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> It's over. Well, just start screaming. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I said something. Give me that shovel. Oh, oh no. my god. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The electricity. No, 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 no. Oh, guys. Go. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, no, no. Get it over here. I actually didn't mean to do that. <laughs> actually, this is a hot mess, you guys. We did think that something like this might happen, so we put all the electricity up on bars. But we can run like this on top of the non-Newtonian fluid and not drown, because there is concrete right underneath all of us. <laughs> well, and that's the end of, of our video. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel, give us some likes, and wait for new crazy experiments.